okay hello everyone so today i am going to talk about how can you view your macromolecule in different ribbon representations well basically there are three types of ribbon representations you can use to view your macromolecule we have a rounded ribbon representation we have flat ribbon representation and the last one is the edge ribbon representation now why there is a need for three different representations to view your protein molecule now see um, whenever we are working on um, the software to generate the 3d diagram we want the different angles or the different um, you can say aspects for of, of the image or the picture you know to differentiate between different angles to differentiate between the different um, representations or confirmations right like we want to check the protein with every single aspect or we want uh, to analyze it from every different angle so uh, let's see how can you view different um, representations for your protein molecule so first of all we have to select the protein molecule we go to select and then we select the option that says select all see this uh, green outline appears it means uh, the whole protein molecule has been selected now in order to represent the ribbon in the flat form you go to actions then ribbon and then you select the flat option see now let me just uh, clear the selection so you can yes I think I should change the color just to make it a little bit more prominent okay now see this this was the um, flat uh, ribbon representation now as you can see this flat ribbon representation is only focusing on the overall width of the molecule right there is no no um, you know um, representation or no focus on the height of uh, the molecule it's just you know extending it in order of its width now if we uh, go to the edged represent, uh, representation now you can see this is a bit more sharp right this this effect or this representation is giving a more sharp effect like uh, it, it feels like this core of uh, the protein molecule is enclosed in some kind of a grid right it, it is focusing both on the uh, width as well as the height just to enhance the overall representation of the molecule and if we select the rounded representation so see this is this is somewhat really normal and most of the time we are working with this repre uh, representation of uh, the protein see this is focusing on both the width and the height of the protein molecule and this is somewhere between uh, the intermediate of your flat ribbon representation and the edged ribbon representation as you can see this this uh, representation is giving some sort of very smooth and the oval kind of effect right so it totally depends upon your need your requirement like how you want to view your protein in in which angle in uh, what a representation and then accordingly you choose the ribbon representations for uh, your protein molecule or its chains so that was all for today or for for this video actually and uh, let me know in the comment section if you want uh, some sort of um, you know detailed video on any kind of task or um, is there anything I can help you out with your uh, assignments or projects well basically I'm starting with the 
you know um, the most simplest things or uh, the basic things in, in in every software so things will get a bit more um, you know upgrade in the in the upcoming videos but for now let's just keep it till here and if you find uh, this video helpful please like and uh, subscribe thank you